So the last job on the garden room is to get some flooring down. I'm gonna go for laminate flooring. First, it's the underlay. Now this stuff's made from recycled plastics and it's slightly more expensive than other options, but it's actually got some acoustic properties and some thermal properties, so I think it's gonna be a good option. Doesn't look much to this, so I'm just gonna lay them out with a little five mil gap around the outside for expansion. So the last row is gonna need bits cut. Also, I need to fill in little bits at the end. So I'm getting measured out, marked, and then to cut it, I can just use a standing knife and the guide rail. This stuff cuts extremely easily. Then I can fill in the last row and the little gaps down the side. So now to lay the laminate, we've gone for a grey colour, which I think will look nice against the white walls. It's been sat in here for a few days to acclimatise, and now I can start laying it. I'm starting in the left corner, which is the wall with the door on. Now, I also got a little tool kit with this, which has some wedges in. So I can put the wedges around and that just gets the spacing correct from the walls. This stuff just slots together and is very quick to do. Now I'm at the end of the row and I need to cut a board down. So I can get a board, flip it over, line it up, mark it out, and then get it cut on the motor saw. Now, I'm back to where I started at the other end. I've got the off cut from the piece I just cut and I can get that put into place. Now, I just keep going until I've got two rows done. So I've got two rows down, but before I go any further, I'm gonna sort out the threshold. So I can work out what size I need the piece to be, then I'm gonna rip a strip down using the track saw, get it cut to length using the mitre saw, and then get the notches cut out. Now I've got this bit cut, I can slide these first two rows back, get this little slither into place, and then push everything back to where it was before, and then just continue the process, working my way down towards the back wall. So this stuff goes down quickly, and it's all down apart from the very last strip. So now I need to work out what size this strip needs to be, and then I can get it ripped down using the track saw. These ripped strips can now go into place and they go together the same way. Just now I can use this tool to pull everything tight. So the laminate floor is all down in here, but I've got the expansion gap around the outside. So to cover that, I've got these little strips. So that means a lot of mitres need cuttings. So we get the Bosch saw set up and cut some mitres. Now to attach these in place, I'm just gonna run a little bead of contact adhesive along them. Then they can get pushed into place. Now to hold them there, I'm gonna use the brad nailer. So we've got electricity out here now, so that makes life easier. Now the brads go into the walls, no glue or brads touch the actual laminate so that can move independently. I put a link to this brad nailer on the tools I use page down below. Now, three walls were pretty simple, but I had to do a little bit more complicated bits around the door. So 
So that's the floor done, and that means the garden room itself is all finished. So there's been some questions about how much time it took and how much money it cost, so I'll try and answer those in my next vlog, which will be coming up in a few weeks. So now we just need to get this all furnished, so thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.